guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a super cheeky hack that you can use to auto animate color in Adobe XD. Now, you can't do this by default. Auto animate at the moment doesn't support one color transitioning through to another color with all of the other colors in the spectrum in between. I'm sure it will, but if you're like me and you're impatient, then we're gonna jump into this video and I'll show you how to do that. So let's jump into it now. Right here, so you can see I have two artboards here. We have the strawberry artboard and the blackberry artboard. And we have some information about what a strawberry and a blackberry is, if you're interested, but it's largely irrelevant. Now, because we're auto animating color in this tutorial, I've got this massive red sea of color here. And then we have this massive purple sea of color over here. So you can really see this transition in full effect. And then down here, we've got a strawberry button with a, like a very retro bevel and embossed style button that is in red, and then we have a purple one over here. So you're gonna be able to see how this transition could work. So first of all, if I just select the strawberry button, you can see that it is grouped together. It's made up of a bunch of different layers, but I've grouped it together so that when I select this in prototype mode, the entire button is clickable. So that's quite important. In fact, we can go over to prototype mode now. And with this button selected, I can click on the blue tab and drag this to the artboard I want to link to and the trigger is going to be a tap. The action is an auto animate. So Adobe XD will detect any changes between one artboard and another for a specific layer or group. And the ease in, well, ease in dash out is always a good one to go to, but feel free to select another one. And I've got half a second in there as the duration. Now, once I've set this transition up once, I can then click on this Blackberry button here, link it back to the strawberry artboard, and then it remembers those same settings. So really, really helpful. And what I can actually do now is go back to design mode. Now, typically with auto animate, it's always really important to name your layers. You can see here, if I click on the button, we've got strawberry dash button. But what auto animate does is it will look for another version of this on the Blackberry artboard, and then it will animate the transitions or the changes between. So if the size, position, or the opacity changes, it will animate that transition. But because there is no version of this on the BlackBerry artboard, the default for Adobe XD for auto animate, the default transition auto animate uses is uh, just fade in or fade out, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want to do here. So if I go up and select play now, when I click these different buttons, it's just gonna use auto animate, but it's gonna use that default transition, which is just fade in and fade out because we haven't defined like a, a secondary point for anything to animate to. So there we go. You can see it just fades in and out together. If I were to throw another strawberry up here and play this again, you can see it animates the change between the two different artboards. But like I say, when there is nothing for it to animate to, it will just fade those elements out and then fade them back in like so. And there we go. There's a cheeky way to auto animate color in Adobe XD. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.